Welcome back. Raising taxes back on the table in Congress. Senator Joe Manchin reportedly pushing Democrats to revisit increasing the corporate tax rate and the capital gains tax. But his plan clashes with fellow Democrat Senator Christian Sinema, who is not on board on raising taxes. Democrats are still talking about their massive spending agenda despite inflation at a 40-year high. We are waiting for the PPI report out in about 15 minutes. But first, joining me right now is Texas Congressman Kevin Brady. He is the ranking member of the House Ways and Means Committee. Congressman, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks so much. Good morning, Where is Maria. the conversation right now? I'm doing great. Good Thank morning. you. So tell us about the conversation involving raising taxes right now. What are you expecting? Yeah, so, you know, tax hikes have never really been off the table. They've been looming over our job creators, investors here since President Biden mistakenly, I think misguidedly proposed them more than a year ago. It's certainly, I think it's already had an effect on American businesses and American investors. I think chilling some of the decisions on investing and locating the U.S., especially if we're raising taxes while the rest of the world is lowering theirs, it has always been there, and I think it's still creating damage. Ironically, raising taxes will drive inflation further, because as you raise the cost of doing business, ultimately that gets passed on down to customers and ultimately to the workers of these companies who bear uh, really the burden, two-thirds of the burden of these tax uh, hikes land on middle-class workers. So I think Senator Cinema has it right. Uh, these higher taxes are going to be very damaging to the working families she represents. Yeah. So so where are we in terms of the Biden agenda? Um, we're waiting on inflation numbers right now. We know that the consumer price inflation is at a 40 year high and we're waiting on the producer price index. That's going to be out in about 10 minutes time. To what do you attribute this inflationary story that we are all talking about every day? Yeah, well, we already know. Uh, obviously, inflation took off after the nearly $2 trillion COVID stimulus, as the president called it. Uh, that is, if you look at the graphs, look at the statistics, it took off after that in this, be, in this run unabated. I think my big worry, Maria, is I think we're either on the verge of or in a wage pr pr uh, price spiral uh, that no country wants to uh, get in that because they are terrifically damaging to end. They usually end by a recession. Uh, the Fed will have to raise uh, rates above uh, inflation, which is very damaging. And so that's why, you know, both Congress needs to stop the spending and the tax hikes and the Fed needs to get very serious about reining in inflation right now. Well, I mean, that's that that's what we were just talking about with my last guest. And apparently there is still conversation happening about more spending that the Democrats want to yeah. get through portions of the Build Back Better agenda. Do you think that would further stoke inflation? More spending of course. with $30 trillion uh, already on debt? Yes, Maria. Well, obviously, if you're adding another $1.7 uh, uh, into the economy, stoking it, most of that, by the way, is spent spent early on. Uh, in the Build Back Better plan or some version of it. So, yeah, it will drive inflation further. And again, the tax hikes hurt the economy, obviously. The way they're designed, it actually, I, I think, uh, puts America in a position to economically surrender to China, Japan, Europe, and our competitors. And again, that gets passed on to consumer consumers in higher prices and workers in higher taxes. And by the way, last year, as so we know, inflation cumulatively, along with Paychecks that went up, but so did their taxes. A family getting hit, a family, working family, you know, warehouse worker and a housekeeper, for example, bore about five thousand hmm. dollars in higher costs last year. More spending will make that worse. And you and your team, of course, wrote the tax legislation of 2017, where taxes came down on all incomes. And actually, for the first time in a long time, we saw the lower income portion of the population it seeing did. higher wages than, than the highest earners. Uh, what can you tell us right now in terms of the broad macro story? The Heritage Foundation's Index of Economic Freedom finds that the U.S. fell 2.7 points from last year, now sitting at a level of 72.1, leading the U.S. to drop its lowest global ranking ever, falling from the 20th spot last year to now the 25th spot this year, Congressman. So obviously the economy is, is fragile, and there are some out there who are worried about a recession. Because of some of the things you mentioned, wages, Jamie Dimon told me recently he's never seen this much pressure on wages and people in his lifetime. Yeah, well, you know, wage wage inflation is accelerating over the last 
half the year, and and I think we'll continue to do so. But on the 2017 tax reform, what we saw after that was that paychecks rose twice as fast as prices. So families were getting ahead every month. In fact, this last year under Joe Biden, three years of those gains for families got wiped out in one year under President Biden. The other uh, I think I think that worries me is Speaker Pelosi's claim that inflation is caused by more jobs. Uh, that's nonsense. Uh, we saw millions of more jobs created, uh, half a trillion and a half dollars come back from overseas, new manufacturing jobs, and again, inflation was well under control. It was the family's paychecks that were accelerating in really positive ways. So, you know, claims like that, I think, are dangerous to make and worry me. Congressman, real quick, we just spoke with Mark Zandi. He said inflation is temporary, transitory. Is that what you think? Well, no, and neither do American consumers. Last Friday's uh, University of Michigan consumer sentiment showed that two out of three Americans believe that uh, inflation will outpace their paychecks for the next three to five years. Mm. And not only are they worried yeah. about inflation, they've lost any confidence in this handling of the economy by President Biden. And so, no, uh, most Americans believe this will be high in long term. Uh, they've lost confidence in this uh, economy and very worried about their own personal finances. Wow. That's too bad. Kevin Brady, thanks very much for weighing in this morning. We so you, appreciate it.